Hello! First and foremost, happy 60th birthday, Doctor Who. You're looking, you're looking good. Full disclosure, I don't know why the light to my side here is so orange. I only bought them the other day and uh, I'm still getting used to them, so we're just gonna put up with me being orange here. But orange and teal, what a nice combo. I just wanted to make a wee video to celebrate someone else that's also turned 60. These guys. These guys right here. Because obviously the Doctor's turned 60, but that means so have the Daleks, and let's show some appreciation for the Daleks and all they and all they do. Because I guess over the past 10 years my channel has sort of become a Dalek-centered channel and, you know, I didn't intend that to happen, but here we are. So this video is massively inspired, by which I mean a direct ripoff, of a video Nick Briggs uploaded to the BBC Doctor Who YouTube channel, um, where he just went over some of his favourite Dalek lines, so I thought to celebrate the 60th I'd go over some of mine. And yes, it is the 60th anniversary, but there's not any from classic Doctor Who, because I don't know it that well and I've only watched you know, a small part of it, but let's, let's, let's not get into that. I also wanted to start this video by doing something I get asked every now and again in comments to do, which is a tutorial on how you can do a Dalek voice effect too. So let's do that first. So obviously if money isn't an issue, you can you can buy a thing called a ring modulator. Uh, the one that's used in the show is a Mooger Fuger, Mooger Fuger, I believe. Um, and uh, last time I looked, it's about five, six hundred quid. Um, so, you know, if you want to do that, then go for it, and you'll get a very, very authentic Dalek sound, because that's the one Nick Briggs uses himself. However, if you're a bit more strapped for cash, like I am, um, you can use a program called Reaper, and Reaper is the program I've used since uh, for the last five years, I would say, probably more. So what you'll need to do is a microphone, obviously, something to record on, uh, an application, obviously I'm using Reaper, you could use Audacity, or you could speak into a fan, up to you. What's good about Reaper is they have a very good, pretty authentic ring modulator effect. Now, full disclosure, I don't know what a ring modulator does. All I know is that it kind of adds vibrato, if you like, to your voice. It kind of like, it kind of chops it up. So, when you add on the ring modulator effect... This is what you start with. And I guess this is kind of Cyberman-y, so if you want to sort of sit with a Cyberman or this is where you'll be. And um, the settings I use for Dalek are as follows. So mod frequency is the most important setting. Again, don't really know what it does, but it makes it sound like a Dalek. So you'll start off about here, about 40. It's kind of cyberman -y. and if you bring it down, it sort of changes the space between, you know, the chippy choppy dialogue. I'm not, why am I doing a tutorial? Christ am I? I guess that's kind of where the Cybermen are. Delete, delete, etc. Um, and you bring it down even more, and you start to get a bit more Dalek-like, sort of about here. And that's kind of what you want, because there's a lot more screaming and stuff that's necessary. I guess this is where you're going to sort of be if you're trying to do a Davros voice sound effect, if you want to talk about the Medusa Cascade and, you know, point your lightning finger. These are the settings I use for the Dalek, so that's Mod Frequency 3, Feedback 3, Non-Linearity is 20, Mix 100, Output. I don't know what any of that means, but it means it sounds like a Dalek! So that's the sort of audio effect side of things. Other than that, you just have to get really, really close and really yell, like, directly into the microphone, really fuck it up. And I guess, that, like, in terms of a performance side of things, the way I learned how to do the voice is just by uh, listening intently and watching repeatedly Dalek episodes of Doctor Who. It's, you know, there's worse homework you could do. But Nick Briggs specifically has a very sort of almost sing-songy way of doing the Daleks, where he goes up and pitch at the end. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> so just have fun with it, you know? Try different lines, look at your favourite episodes and sort of parrot those, and hopefully you'll you'll be doing Dalek voices in no time. Which brings me on to the main chunk of the video. I just wanted to do a little look back on some of my favourite Dalek moments from... I say the past 60 years, I do mean the past uh, 20 years, but it's still, it's still a significant chunk of time, I'll say it. So this first one is from the episode Dalek in Series 1 with Christopher Eccleston. Um, it's a very nostalgic episode for me. I remember in primary school, when Doctor Who was still a massive thing after it just come back, um, someone wheeling in one of those giant TVs on a platform uh, so we could watch Dalek on a VHS that they brought in and recorded from home when it was a, a rainy playtime. Good times, good times. So the Dalek has outwitted everyone and escaped its cell and decides to download the internet to restore itself. D I didn't know we could do that. Um, but he, he downloads everything, restores himself, and then with great victory, shouts, THE DALEKS SURVIVE IN ME! <laughs> so 
So onto my favourite episode of Doctor Who, and this has always been my favourite since I was a child and I first watched it. Um, parting of the ways, big surprise, this fella, he's, he's, he's in his prime. But I absolutely love Nick Briggs' performance as the Dalek Emperor, it's so chilling. And it's that kind of thing where I, I would love for them to bring the Dalek Emperor back, but at the same time I really don't because like he's so perfectly done and has such a good ending um, in that episode that, you know, I almost kind of want to leave it as it is. But he has one of my favourite Dalek lines in the whole show um, in this episode when he's just ranting and going wild about how he's going to destroy the human race on planet Earth. Purify the Earth with fire. This planet will become my temple and we shall rise. This will be our paradise. Moving on, we're going to go to Doomsday. The Cult of Scarrow have just emerged out of a big golden ball and they're, they're wreaking havoc. There's obviously plenty of lines to choose from from this episode, but one that always makes me laugh is when the Doctor's taking out the sonic screwdriver and Dalek Sec just goes, A SONIC PROBE?! <laughs> Keeping with the theme of sassy Daleks, we're going to the New York episode, what the hell is it called? Uh, Daleks in Manhattan and... Uh, fuck. Daleks in Manhattan. Evolution of the Daleks, that's what it was called. And the Daleks are just as sassy as always. You told us to imagine, and we imagined your irrelevance. So now we're going to the Stolen Earth and Journey's End. And anytime they bring in a new Dalek or a new variation of an existing Dalek, it's always an exciting time. So this is the introduction of the Dalek Supreme, Big Red, Tall Boy. And he has some icy Dalek lines. If some of his lines, if I'm ever like recording something, I'll always just do his to practice because they're so... Oh. The last child of Gallifrey is powerless! Oh. And at one point the TARDIS gets launched into a fiery pit, which is never a good sign. And the Dalek Supreme doesn't, you know, he doesn't hold, he doesn't hold back. You are connected to the TARDIS! Now feel it die! The TARDIS has been destroyed! Now tell me, Doctor, what do you feel? Anger, sorrow, despair. Then if emotions are so important, surely we have enhanced you? Skip ahead to a new era now. Stephen Moffat and Matt Smith take the helm uh, with one of the best finales I think the show has ever done. Uh, the Pandora opens and the Big Bang. Again, new variations of a Dalek. It's always exciting. Up this time, it's stone. It's a stone Dalek. You know, say what you will about Rubber Song. This scene is quite awesome. Records indicate you will show mercy. You are an associate of the Doctors. Mercy. 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 Um, spoiler alert, she doesn't show mercy. So this was an interesting episode. This was Asylum of the Daleks. Um, which again had sort of different variations on existing Daleks and again it just shows how good a performer Nick Briggs is. But the fact that he makes a Dalek sound sympathetic and you know insane it's pretty 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 good going. And he gives this amazing performance at the end of the episode as the spoiler alert Dalek version of Clara. And I'm not even gonna come close to doing it justice um, but there's some really nice lines in it that he delivers amazingly. We have grown stronger in fear of you. The Daleks above have begun their attack. Run! Remember me. Run! So sad. Why am, I, why am I sad for a Dalek? So this next one is from 10 years ago, the day of the Doctor, the 50th anniversary. Oh god, what a good memory that was. Just so epic and Stephen Moffat just knocks out of the park. Oh my god, it's good. But there's some amazing Dalek moments in this episode, um, but one I just love because it's so epic is uh, the Doctor, as played by John Hurt at the time, smashes his TARDIS through a wall! And as the Dalek is lying there dying, he manages to squeak out these few words. The Doctor is escaping! What are these words? Explain! Explain! And we'll wrap it up now because I'm getting a sweat on. <laughs> With a line that just sums up the Daleks from Chris Chibnall's episode. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Resolution. The Daleks! 
Dalek race is supreme! Yes, they are. So that was just some of my favourite Dalek lines from the history, or recent history, of my favourite show in all of time and space. Let me know some of your favourite Dalek lines and Dalek moments in the comments below. It's always nice to chat about those. But thank you very much for watching this video and for all your support over the past 10 years and leaving very lovely comments on some very stupid Dalek videos. I really appreciate it. It's always so nice to see them. But I hope you have a good Doctor Who day. Obviously, happy birthday, happy 60th anniversary, Doctor Who. But more importantly, happy 60th to these guys.